Hey everybody, Scorpion here. Um, so I've got a net gear Ethernet switch. Um, so we're going to tear this thing open and see what it's got in it, but it's quite heavy. So I'm going to bring y'all back once I get a few screws taken out. Rock, 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 bottle on the track, boy. Alright, so I took all the screws out the outside, even the two that were mounting the fan in the back. Let's see if we can uh, get this thing to open up. Maybe. So this is, that's steel, so it's scrap, shred, whatever you want to call it. We do have a board up here. Let's see if these pull off. Yeah. This side's got a bunch of LEDs. Um, this has got gold pins where those plugged in. And you're looking at about seven uh, chips on the back. I do not think the board is gold though, from what I can see. So this is going to be shred as well. wires fan power supply water plug comes in right here runs into the power supply I just took the stuff off that brought it from the power supply over here to the board This is the board. Ooh. It's got a few good chips on it. These are gold plated on the inside. This all this is gold plated. These connectors went up through the center into these. They carry your information to all the ports. That's probably uh, that might count as a back plane board, I'm not sure. But this is gold, this is gold, this is gold. Looks like we got three processors um, with aluminum. You got three big chips here. You got a bunch of little chips back here, a crystal oscillator, some more ports. couple brass extensions that's what held the top plate in the screws went to the top of this let's see Oop. There's a better look at it and all the gold pins. So, if I'm going to figure out what grade board this is, uh, I think it falls under the low telecom. I'm not sure, but if it's if that's what it falls under and it's only a, a dollar a pound, I'm probably going to take all this stuff off of it and depopulate it. Um, the board does not look like it's gold plated, but you got gold here, gold, 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 
you got these chips here you can sell separate all of these chips you can sell separate your uh, crystal oscillator you can sell separate and these chips um, so I would think it'd be a pretty good amount of weight side of it but these chips I mean that's that's a pretty big size chips right there so we'll see now uh, we'll see I'll probably go through some boards once I get the hang of it and uh, explain this stuff a little bit better if I think I'm gonna get more money depopulating it then I'm probably gonna depopulate it but I have to look at how much time it's gonna take me as well That's your power supply for it. <coughs> so, I mean, you've got copper roll here, copper roll here, copper, copper, two aluminum heat sinks. Uh, you can cut these two off for copper. One chip. Not a whole lot to it, but it is pretty small. Um, And then you got the rest of this here, a little bit of wire, then the plug that goes through the back, which is not worth me fighting with those are normally a, a pain and take a little while to get out. Sometimes they're fast, but um, anyway. That is basically all that there is to that. So this is scrap. And those pieces are pretty heavy. Uh, now for your wires. Of course you're looking for your gold coated ones. These are not gold coated. Leave off, throw it away. A little fan. It's not gold coated, so normally I cut that off, trace this up. They're normally hooked on the side somewhere. I pull those through up to the motor and clip it off at the motor. Down with the wire. Fans, I'll show you what I do with the fans. <clears throat> so, this is what it looks like. Normally, I just go right here. Cut it loose. Drop that fan out. I cut it blades off of it basically I'm trying to get all the ex excess you know plastic off of it and there's your motor I've heard some places want you to beat some of that plastic off we'll see that seems like too much work if you gotta take your time to do all that these wires there's a good chance they are probably gold can't see in there too well so I take my cutters here and I cut the plastic where it goes into the clip and break the back side off and then I normally grab the plug and the wire and just kind of rotate it off 
quite often one or more of the little pins will come out and you can look at the pin yep it's got gold on it just a little bit so this goes through gold being that this came out it goes to my gold and I just do that with each one of them just split them pull them apart quite a few pins left in there a couple of them came out so I just grabbed my pliers pull them out this goes with the uh, ribbon cable wire this goes with mine and this goes to board sword as an end a gold end That's it. That's your complete tear down. If you don't have any questions, feel free to ask.